Hello, Leo viewers. Sorry I was away for a while, but I am back now. Uh, let me see what's going on with you guys. So this could be regarding an ex, could be a new person coming into your life, could be someone you're currently dating, just whatever the cards want to say. The last reading I did for you guys, I was getting that you planted a seed and really changed someone's life. Like your mind is just so unique to this person. It's like you, you, even though it might not have taken place right away, like maybe it took some time for these seeds to really sprout. Um, you know, this person does listen, they did listen to you more than you realized. And they really find you unique. Even if it scared them a little bit, they find you incredibly unique and incredibly different. Clubs, parties, and social life. Sorry, let me get straightened out there for you guys. There we go. <laughs> Vulnerability, receptivity. Love offer, commitment. Betrayal, jealousy, and conflict. Okay. Let's see. Make your move. Green light. Sense of belonging. Home. Safe space. Taking it slow. Getting to know each other. Happiness, warmth, and light. Submissive and weak willed. Okay. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> so I'm feeling like this is a third party situation. I feel like this is a third party situation. It feels like you've either just met someone or you're going to meet someone out in public kind of unexpectedly. So this could be at a club, this could be at, a, at some kind of party, some kind of social event, could be a festival, um, something of that nature. And I feel like it's gonna be like a love at first sight kind of scenario. Like you're gonna feel this vulnerability, you're gonna feel open with this person. Um, there's gonna be like a mutual give and take, a mutual energy exchange. It's like they're just gonna feel like home to you. They're just gonna feel it's just going to be very unexpected. Like some of you might not even be focusing on love right now. You might be focusing on career. You might be thinking, you know, eventually love will come my way. I need to, you know, I need to do this first and that first. And then it's like out of nowhere, you just, you're just having fun with your friends or your friends hook you up with someone. Just kind of unexpected love. Um, I feel like this could also be referencing someone that you already met. There might be something relevant here, like certain clubs or parties you used to go to. Um, it might also be that there's a karmic that's jealous that tends to, um, there might be like a weird love triangle kind of thing going on here where maybe, maybe there's like a social group basically. And so you know the, you know this person's karmic, like you, everyone kind of knows each other. Does that make sense? But um, what I'm getting is basically that the karmic is not an issue though. So we have betrayal, jealousy, conflict here. It's like, it seems like, like, from what I'm getting from this spread, it seems like someone's going to meet you and they're just going to be sure of you very early on, like within like the first month of getting to know each other, you know, even the first week possibly. It's like there's just going to be that intuitive nudge. It's like that soul recognition, like this, you know, it's like a past life relationship. And like I said, you might have already experienced this. You might be dealing with this right now. This could be someone that you're meeting in the future that your guides want to give you a heads up. But I'm feeling like this person's going to make you some kind of love offer that you might not expect. It, it might be really early on that this person asks you to commit to them. Um, or ask you on a date. It's like, I think it's just going to throw your plans off. I really feel like 
I feel like you're, you might be fo like some of you might be focused on someone else. Like you're trying to manifest an ex back and then you go out having fun with your friends and you meet someone that's like a potential life partner that you just did not expect to meet. Like you were just trying to go out and have a couple drinks and just have fun. And before you know it, you're talking to someone and you're just feel like you could just talk to them all night and they're buying you drinks and you're just, it's just that kind of soul connection where you just, you know, it's like, where have you been all my life? Basically. Like I feel that kind of energy here. So I feel like things are going to move quickly. Um, and unexpectedly here. I do feel like there's a karmic that's jealous, but I feel like this is, it almost feels like someone that's spying on them. Like betrayal, jealousy, conflict. It almost feels like someone that's just kind of, like I don't feel like they're still with this person. They might be going through a divorce or going through some kind of ending with this person. Um, I feel like this person's going to know about you though and they're going to be jealous and they're going to try to sabotage this. But honestly, the, the vibe that I get from it, just from these cards, from the energy that I'm channeling, is I don't think that this person was ever really in love with the karmic. I feel like this is a situation where they stayed with the karmic, maybe because they had a child together, maybe um, obligation. They might have stayed with the karmic because the karmic might have been self-destructive. Um, like we see the, the dagger, the knife here that this person's holding. They might have stayed with the karmic because um, they just they didn't want to be alone. It was just kind of convenient. And I'm not saying those things are okay. I'm just, you know, I'm just channeling the energy. I'm unbiased here. I'm just, I'm letting you guys know what I'm, what I'm picking up, what I'm feeling, what I think is going on, you know, giving you guys a current update and then it's up to you what you guys want to do with that information. Um, I'm happy to give advice sometimes too, but but in the moment, I'm just letting you guys know what's happening. But um, anyway, so I feel like I feel like this this person is is aware of you or is about to become aware of you. That's why I kind of think that maybe they all like all you guys go to the same club or same social events or you're in the same social circles. Like you have mutual friends with this person, or it's like they they have some kind of connection, some way to find out about you and spy spy on you. I don't feel like they're a threat, though, because I don't think that your person ever really loved them. I mean, I hate to say it like that. It sounds so harsh, but I just feel like it was, like, convenience or there was some kind of obligation. Um, they didn't want to be alone. It was, like, a codependent relationship where it's, like, neither of them are really happy, but they, you know, maybe they felt like they were getting older and they didn't want to keep waiting for the right person to come along. But I don't, I just don't feel like this person's a threat. Because I feel like when they, they've either just met you or when they do meet you, I feel like they just know. Like, I think it's something you're both just going to know. Like, you're just going to feel it. You're going to be kind of shocked. You're going to be like, okay, I don't know if I was ready for that. I was kind of trying to focus on other things in my life. But, you know, love comes in at its own timing. It's like you can't really predict or control it most of the time. It just kind of does what it wants. And... I feel like this person, like I said, I think this person's going to make a move very early on because I think there's going to be a lot of green lights. I think that this person is going to realize how unique you are and how different you are from the rest. Um, I think that there's, I think there's just been a lot of red lights, um, like red flags, I should say, in their past relationships. And with you, it's like there's going to be green lights and, you know, vice versa, you're going to feel the same way. And I think like all your quirks, all your like your your weirdness, your creativity, your your spirit, this person is going to be turned on by those things. And that's one of the energy differences you're going to notice in this connection. Whereas with other relationships, maybe people were like a little bit intimidated by your energy, maybe intimidated by your strength, intimidated by that, you know, fiery, passionate, creative Leo energy, like it was just a little bit too much for them. And it's going to be the exact opposite with this person. Like, they're going to be turned on by all those things, you know? Like, let's say you're a witch, for example, and in the past you've dated men or women that have been intimidated by the witchcraft. Like, they've been, they don't understand it, or they're just, you know, kind of agree to disagree. It's like, this person might not be a witch, but they're going to be so turned on by it. Like, they're going to want to know more about it. Like, they're going to be 
they're just going to support you. You know what I mean? And you're going to notice that energy difference when you talk to them too, that they're very open-minded. They're very, um, you're able to just be your true self with them. You're not, you don't have to hold back. See this, this character, this energy is very like passionate, very, um, you know, sensual, very free spirited. It's like, you know, you don't have to hold back around this person. You can just, you can say what you want to say. You can feel how you want to feel. You can be your true self. You can do, you know, whatever you, you want to do, um, without being judged around this person. And I think that you guys are going to feel at home together very early on. You know, this is going to be your rock and, you know, you're going to be their rock vice, and, you know, vice versa. I think also your patience with them is going to turn them on even more. The fact that you're willing to take it slow, the fact that you're just pulling them in, that you're getting to know them, the fact that you're just very grounded, you're very strong, you're very independent, you're just in your power. Um, they're going to notice that energy difference between you and the karmic. Like you're, you kind of give them this freedom where it's like, you know what you deserve. You have this natural confidence, this natural charisma, and you know who you are and what you want. And, you know, they can take it or leave it. And that, that energy is, that feistiness is going to turn them on so much. I see like a power couple here. That's the kind of energy I feel from this. And I think they're going to sub submit to this. I think they're going to be submissive to this because I think that they haven't felt happiness and warmth and light in a long time. They haven't felt that kind of connection. Like, see how different these two energies are. You know, it's like this person's like bitter. They're insecure. They're they're jealous. They're they're um, they're like the exact opposite of you, pretty much. And here you are. You're like you have this angelic light. You know, male or female. It could be male, male and female, female relationships as well, either way. But it's like you have, you know, you make them happy. You have this warmth, this light about you, this, it's like, you're just different. You're just very unique. And the karmic cannot compete with that because they never, that was never their match. You know what I mean? It was like a karmic relationship. It was never, it was never true love with them basically. But with you two, it's like, it's, it's just true love. And so they're, I think they felt alone for so long and they felt um, just kind of sad for so long. And I think like having this kind of support, this kind of connection, this kind of emotional depth, like being able to love and talk to someone like that again is just they're going to submit to that. They're going to they're going to give in to these emotions with you is what I feel. So it's just kind of saying, like, if there is a karmic, if you are dealing with a third party, and if this is your story, you know, don't try to make it, don't try to make it fit if it, if it doesn't fit. You know what I mean? Like, you'll know intuitively if this is your energy group. But if this is your energy group, and it's, it's basically saying, like, you don't really need to worry about the karmic. Um, I feel like for this group, I feel like your person is pretty much already done with them. Like, they might be... They might be talking to them as a friend to some degree because they know how, you know, psycho the karmic is and how um, insecure they are. And they maybe they don't want them to, you know, slit their tires here or something. Um, or maybe they don't want them. They just, they want to keep, they're trying to kind of walk on eggshells around them or they're trying to make sure that this person is safe. Like maybe they had like a friendship before. And even though they're not in love, even though it was toxic, like they still want to make sure this person is okay, that this person doesn't do anything too crazy, um, you know, to themselves, to others, to, you know, whatever. Um, but I mean, their heart is with you and I, I, I'm not feeling like disloyalty here for this group. I feel more like they're just wrapping up loose ends with this person. Like, this was never their person and vice versa. And the karmic's going to recognize that at some point. The karmic's going to be like, yeah, you know what? That's kind of true. Like, we were never really happy. We just were tired of being alone. You know, like, the karmic is going to get that this was for the best at some point, too. And he or she is going to go off and meet their true love and be thankful that they did not end up with this person that they really wanted to end up with. You know, because this is your person. It's like... You know, one man's trash is another man's gold kind of, th and you know, I don't, know if, I don't know if that's the right quote, but you know what I mean? Like, it's like other people didn't see you. They took you for granted or they put you on the side and it's like this person just kind of 
all those things that were taken for granted, it's like they're just in, amazed by those things. And I think you're going to be amazed by the fact that, by the fact that someone's amazed by those things. Like you're not, you know, you're not going to be used to being loved like that. So it's a very beautiful energy. And you manifested this. I think that you've been manifesting this for a while now. Isolation, loneliness, sadness. Yeah. Let's see. Open, honest communication. Message. I think you did go through that dark period, but it's like you have some... You could have like an impulsive message coming in for some of you too. Miscommunication, stagnation. I feel like someone here was just stagnant. It was like you guys were like, the, like with the karmic, it's like someone was just miscommunicating and like kept in this stagnant energy and overthinking and self-sabotaging and like being seduced by the karmic, even though there was not love there, it was just lust. It's like you have to have the willpower, strength and confidence to leave. For some of you, your person needs to, to cut cords and needs to do some energy work to get past this. Um, but I do feel like they're coming towards you because they know that this is true love. They know that what they had with the karmic was not true love. They know that, you know, they're coming towards you quick is what I feel. Bold gesture, choosing love over fear, risk, reward. It's like when it's true love, it's true love. And this is a past life connection. This is like a soulmate or a twin flame. This is what you've been waiting for, hoping for, praying for. And they're gonna wanna show you off to the world. That's the energy that I'm getting here. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that resonates with you guys. If you want a private reading, my email is right below in the description box. I'm right below this video. Uh, any donations are appreciated. My donation links are also below this video. And please subscribe if it resonates. Um, yeah, that's... Let's see. Yeah, thank you guys for watching.